Hello YouTube, this is Bowtie Media. Today we've got a brand new reaction to two new tracks from two artists that I absolutely love, Direct and Cloud None. Uh, the two, I by my count, I believe this is the 18th and 19th track they put out together. I think it's, no, 19th and 20th, I remember. I, I did the math just a second ago. Something like that. They've worked on almost 20 tracks together. I'm sure it's more than that, actually. But uh, yeah, they're here for a, another double-sided single. Monster Cat labels double-sided singles as EPs, and I really dislike that, but that's for a whole nother thing. I, I hate the two-track EPs, but... That's just my personal thing. So this is technically an EP of Elixir and Nectar. So without any further ado, let's just hop into it. Here is the first track of the EP, Elixir. And I believe these are two garage tracks. If I remember seeing the labeling from Monster Cat. Okay, that was Elixir. I was a huge fan of that. That might be one of my favorite um, tracks from both Direct and Cloud None, like uh, together on one of their 20 tracks they've done. Uh, Margarita is my number one. I mean, it's it's a classic for the two of them. And it, I, yeah, it just huge fan of that. Uh, but uh, this might be my, uh, my number two. I loved it. I really liked that it, it had a lot more energy on it. Because uh, Direct and Cloud None, obviously, they... They're in this kind of chill, down-tempo, kind of more relaxing, melancholy style for the most part. But uh, every every now and then they'll go to something maybe a little more housey like Margarita or a little more trippy, a little more upbeat like uh, Elixir. And uh, I was a fan. I was here for it. I uh, I really liked their... Because their, their sound is... Oh, I don't even like it. It's it screams classic, like Cloud Nine and Direct, and still has like a, a different style to it. And so, uh, 
Yeah, I, uh, I'm re- really big fan, really big fan. Uh, I have a theory right now, actually going into this. Um, I think Elixir is going to be the, the high pace, um, like in your face, not quite in your face song, uh, where Nectar is going to be the more like laid back. I don't know if I were to give the two, like Elixir would be kind of like a more energetic and Nectar would be a little more like melancholy. Uh, so that's my prediction. The next one's going to be a little bit, a lot more chill. Uh, but who actually knows if I'm wrong or right about that? But uh, I loved Elixir, so let's hop into Nectar and see how that one is. Um, here we go. Direct and Cloud None, round two, Nectar. Oh, I might be wrong. Oh, this is going to be more bassy, isn't it? Might be right. Oh, I was wrong. What? structure than the last song. Like a main drop, a secondary, our bridge, interlude section, and then the same thing. We'll see where this one takes us though. Nectar, uh, that one. Uh, <laughs> I feel like if I would have heard that first, I would have said the same thing. It would have been like, this is a little more trippy, a little more upbeat than anything that they've done before. Uh, so it was like very similar style to Elixir and that that both of those songs being a little, a little different from the rest of their discography, uh, the rest of the two of their discography combined, I should say. Uh, but uh, different enough that it, they are the same. They're both similarly different from the rest of it but different enough that these two are, are like unique. They're, they're creative in their own different ways. Uh, I really liked how much more, uh, maybe like glitchy that one was. There was that voice kind of vocal sample, whatever you want to call it, vocal chop that was like, like it was like almost like semi robotic, like pseudo robotic. It wasn't quite there. It was a little, uh, it was like processed in some areas and then it kind of didn't it sounded like not uh, it was just I don't know what that part was but I really enjoyed it uh, I thought it added a lot to the track a lot of energy um, and I think without that th- those little like, hits of 
I'm going to call them vocal chops for now. Uh, I think the song would have been completely different and it was pretty much the focal point of the track. Uh, so I just said Elixir was my uh, second favorite song other than Margarita. And uh, I don't know if I like Nectar more than Elixir. I think these two uh, are my two and th second and third favorite songs from the two of the from the two of them combined. I uh, yeah, I'm a really big fan. I like this direction. It's a little bit less melancholy, like I've talked about. A little more trippy. A little more uh, like I want to say psychedelic. A little bit to some extent. A little more glitchy and. I was a fan. I I really like this. I think this is some of the best stuff that the two of them have put out uh, in a little bit. So way to go. Way to go. Uh, also, I'm going to do a little plug. Uh, the three of them, uh, Direct, Cloud9, and Mr. Fijuiji, started a Patreon. So if you want to go support them in all that you can monetarily, you get some sick rewards by doing that. And so if you want to support them, there'll be a link in the description below if you want to support that. But uh, yeah, I think all three of them are fantastic. And these two songs, uh, and these two artists in particular, great. Such such a good double-sided single, not an EP. But uh, with that, I don't know what your guys' thoughts are in the comment section below. I'm Botop Media, and I will see you guys in another video.